My name is Eric Leaders. I'm the Sustainability and Purchasing Manager for the Parkway School District. Um, that position actually evolved from a student-initiated recycling program back in the 90s, which now we have an environmental services department. So Parkway is, is determined and in, in, in found the need to conserve resources uh, and being good stewards to the environment as we move forward and also with building new construction such as what's behind me. This is the new science edition for Parkway Central High School in which we're, we're uh, going for a LEED certified level. Uh, so it's, what we're in right now is the outdoor classroom which includes several different features. So this is actually going to be a rainwater retention basin um, in which we also use native landscaping. So we've got kind of these uh, two different elements that we're trying to do sustainable sites as much as possible. So this is the, an example of sustainable sites we wanted to do. We wanted to uh, reduce as much rainwater runoff as possible. So this is actually a rain garden that we have right here where all of the rainwater that's coming off of the site will either be dropped down kind of this, this the pipe into almost a waterfall and kind of create this, uh, this pool right here or the landscape itself will be used with Missouri native plants that use uh, a lot, do a lot better with absorbing water than going through MSD lines into a, a stormwater drainage system. So, and then also right here we have an example of how we're using this school as a teaching tool uh, where we actually created an outdoor classroom environment for students. Hello, so what you're seeing here is the, um, this is actually a good example of how we wanted to promote indoor environmental quality as much as possible within this new addition. Um, this is going to be daylighting, so it gives a lot of, a lot of natural daylight, um, which studies have shown that students learn better in a daylight environment versus um, one without any windows. So this actually, even though this is a common uh, um, hallway, if you will, um, it, it does maintain that, that ability to have natural light. Uh, beyond that is it does actually, you know, allow us to reduce the amount of uh, artificial light that we have in here, of lamps and such. So, um, so it creates a better indoor environmental quality while also saving energy. So this being a classroom, this is another example of how we wanted to promote natural light as much as possible within the classrooms. All the classrooms within this new wing do have some daylighting views available. So. Uh, that's something that, again, is another benefit for indoor environmental quality, as well as a, a reduced amount of light, artificial light that's necessary. Um, even though we are using high efficiency uh, artificial lights, uh, newer T8 lamps, we are using as much natural light as possible. So another thing that we try to focus on with the indoor quality is with the fixtures, with the, the flooring material, the paints, etc. Uh, those are all low VOC materials, so they're not going to have off-gassing, which aren't going to um, contribute to some of those respiratory issues that, that have been proven to happen with, with some of the uh, uh, VOC-containing materials.